Welcome back to the exciting tales of Bling Man. Also, let's play Mystic Quest. Let's explore, shall we? Ooh, a boy. See that huge mansion? That's Devias' house. Or Devias, or whatever. The poison gas appeared when the harp stopped. Harp? What is going on here? Ooh. Oh, merchant. To Angus, you need a teardrop of Medusa. Hmm, a teardrop of Medusa, eh? What's old man got to say? Northern Valley is filled with fatal poison gas. Marvellous. Let's visit Devias. Wow, that's a big house. It's got a million windows. And I'm as tall as the entire first floor. Ooh. Ominous music. This is airship music. I wonder what's in here. Corridor. Another corridor. Ooh. God, you don't look evil at all, do you? You have a bird. I can stab you. Better behave yourself in this town. Amanda? Oh yes, that girl. She went to the cave of Medusa. Nobody ever came back from there alive, though. <laughs> yeah, I know he didn't laugh, but it really does suit him. So, cave of the Medusa, eh? Now, I wonder what we have to do now. At this point in the game, you wouldn't know what to do. Well, move. I said move. I'm not kidding, old guy. Move faster. Thank you. This kid's meant to help you. Cave of Oasis? I'll tell you for a bag of fang. Don't you know? It's very valuable. You know what? No, it isn't. It sells at the store for 15 gold. But... I know exactly how to solve this puzzle now, but I will do this puzzle. Take your chocobo with you? No, why not? Now, when I was younger, I solved the puzzle concerning the bag of fang. But it took me years to get the solution. And I mean years. I was loving this game as a child, and then I gave up because of the stupid bag of fang puzzle. Not getting fang, you, you can get fang easily enough, these guys have them. You've just got to keep killing them until one of them drops a bag of fang. And we'll just use the chocobo to find the next place where they are, because they only spawn in, frequ in infrequent locations. There's some more. Now, this puzzle... Really? I don't know why I didn't figure it out. But I didn't. And no one else could help me. I'm not dying at this point. I'm just gonna tough this out. Yeah, I know it's taking three hit points away from me a second or whatever. Ooh, I healed anyway. I leveled up anyway. Time for some more wisdom. Now. Come on, stupid bag of fang. I want to do this properly. Hey. More of you. I don't know what these are meant to be. But, um. Come on, one of you drops some fang. Nope, no fang. This is probably going to get annoying, folks. I might spend videos trying to get this blooming fang. I hope not. Ah! Oh, fudge. You did that just to annoy me. A store. Yeah. Ugh! They'll wind you up so much with fang. They'll give you a chest, and they'll be like, Oh, it doesn't actually have any fang in it, it's just empty. I hate that hunting for fang. You don't need to do this to solve the puzzle, but I'm gonna do it. Purely for completeness. Stupid fang. 
Give me some fang! Don't make me get angry! You won't like Kiko when he's angry! Seriously, he gets all stroppy and everything. Come on, I'll stab you with this spear. Give me some fang! Oh, you're not gonna give me any fang, are you? You know, but the moment I'll kill something else, I'll get 50 million chests of rubies and sapphires. Empty. On. I want some fat. Is that too hard to ask for? Apparently so. These enemies are infrequent. They don't appear in too many locations, and they drop loads of chests that say empty on them. Come on. Give me some fang. Yes! We have some fang! Now to rush back to um, that kid, so he can tell us the solution to the problem. Now, I'll give you a moment to think about it once we've got it. You can't enter the town as a chocobo. You have to ask to get off it, and then you're allowed in. Now, here's something to think about. He's going to give us a riddle. Yeah, we give him this all-important fang. Cave of Oasis, I'll tell you for a bag of fang. Here's the clue. Palm trees and eight. Got it? Okay, I got this clue. And my first thought was, maybe I need to find a, an oasis that has eight palm trees. That's not it. I got stuck on this clue thing when I was about 13 years old, or 12, maybe even 11. Didn't solve it for years. Do you want to know what the solution is? You'll kick yourself. I kicked myself when I figured it out. My older mind looked at it, and when, when I was older, I got back to this game, and I thought, what am I missing here? No, that's not the one. Now the Cave of Oasis is the Cave of Medusa. They wouldn't. This game's so linear. They would not give you a clue to a. Uh, Oasis. Now, this is it. This is the cave. Now, how do you expect to solve it? What could you possibly do here? Now, when you're a kid, you won't know this. There weren't walkthroughs back then, and I did not consult a walkthrough to figure this out. I, I, I tried everything. I tried hitting the trees. I tried hitting eight trees. I tried smashing the wall, because this place generated no monsters. So I knew instantly this was the location. How do you do it? I'll tell you how you do it. You have to walk around these palm trees in a figure of eight pattern. And not just any figure of eight pattern. That figure of eight pattern. That's how you do it! How on Jiminy is a child meant to know that? I know I'm going to get messages from people saying, Oh, I figured it out instantly. Well, I didn't. And I'm not stupid. I could... I was the guy, when I was playing... My dad was playing Hands of Law, who said, Throw the dagger at the switch, so that you can activate it. And this puzzle vexed me for years. But... Calming down. I've got that out of my system. But it's annoying when a game is so good that it's just ruined by the fact that there's this puzzle that you just cannot figure out. Ugh! Okay, I'm calm. When we come back, folks, we will explore the Cave of Medusa. Palm trees meet. I'll tell you what, when Kiko gets back to town after solving this one, he's going to string that kid up. <laughs> Until next time, folks. Until next time. Folks, Kiko is a trained professional falling from high, impossibly high, and ridiculously high levels and surviving unscathed. Don't try this at home. If you jump from a high ledge, you'll probably go splat. Your bones will break, your insides will be smeared everywhere, and you will die. This is a, dis a disclaimer so I don't get horribly sued. Until next time, folks. Until next time.